Welcome everyone to JCTV Mid-Missouri Art News. I'm your host Rick J. Mid-Missouri Art News supported by many artists throughout the Missouri and neighboring states as far as uh, all, all, to New Jersey we have had a guest on from New Jersey. Um, also sponsored naturally by Jefferson City uh, JCTV. Uh, we're coming to you from the capital city of Jefferson City, Missouri, on a spring day that we're trying to ease into. Uh, I have two special guests again today, artist Cheryl Schweitzer of Jefferson City, Missouri. She's a member and vice president of the Jefferson City Art Club, which is now 114 years old. So we welcome uh, uh, Cheryl, she'll give us a lot of the scoop of what's going on in her art world and also with the Jefferson City Art Club. And also, I'm proud to say that uh, we have an invited guest artist, Leanne Porello, Porello of uh, California, Missouri. She's the spokesperson today uh, and director of the Capital Arts Gallery, and she has more titles, which we'll get into. Both play a very large role in the art scene in the state of Missouri. So I want to, if you will, join me in welcoming artist Cheryl Schweitzer of Jefferson City, Missouri. Hi, Jerry. Nice to have you with us, Thank Cheryl. You. Look, I've been looking forward to this for a <laughs> long great time. great to be here. Thank you. Well, please tell us a little bit, if you can, about you and those highlights of, of your life that best describes Cheryl Schweitzer. Well, I guess um, I've been an artist all my life, pretty much. Um, I just remember as a kid being crazy about coloring and painting with watercolors and um, getting those new uh, crayons and that yeah. type of thing, and that was always really exciting for me. My parents just did all they could to you know, give those to me and make sure I had plenty of paper and, and like I said, crayons and watercolors, mm -hmm. anything that I wanted to, to use. Um, as I was growing up, and my other family, my husband and children have both been, have all been um, very supportive very through the years as well. So, like, yeah. And my mother had artistic gene too. She always supported my artistic endeavors because she was also an artist. She found out later ah. that um, when I started painting in high school, she learned how to paint and took off from there. And so Excellent. sometimes we painted together and, you know, we learned together in that aspect. And um, she did a lot of other different uh, woodworking and those type of things, but um, I didn't get that gene, I guess. <laughs> but now, you know, both my daughters have some artistic uh, capabilities and uh, some of my nephews too, so it's in the family and it's good to see that going on, yes. you know, down the generations. It's, so. it's great that the family is supportive and you support mm -hmm. the family now, you carry it on We're, and you speak highly yep. of your mother. Um, and uh, the uh, your artwork speaks for itself. Oh, Some of that you. will be shared. <laughs> Did you want to say hi? Can I be the one to put it out there on the table that Cheryl is going to be a grandmother? Yes, for the first soon, time. For the first time. So <laughs> it's very exciting. Give a shout out to family if you wish. Um, well, that's thanks to Robin and Blake, my daughter and son-in-law, and. They're uh, due mm -hmm. in May, and so we'll get to see hopefully another artist bloom here before too long. Oh, so. excellent. <laughs> I'm sure you'll have a little bit to do with that. Oh, yes, some definitely. <laughs> <laughs> well, great. And, yeah. and I, uh, we, Mid Missouri Art News, uh, send congratulations. We look forward to Thank that you. coming uh, up, uh, event coming up. Well, now let's get into kind of a nitty gritty question. <laughs> Can you share with this uh, your favorite <laughs> mediums and subject matter when working on a project? Um, my favorite mediums. For right now, mostly are acrylic paints. Um, I discovered those several years ago when I was working in one of my basement studios in a house in Chicago, and That's there was nice. almost no ventilation in there, and so it oh. kind of got to be pretty stuffy and probably not too safe either. So right. um, my mother got me a set of acrylic paints one year for Christmas, and I loved them. And you know, there's almost no odor to those, and no solvents yes. that you have to use. And um, I just ended up really uh, learning how to use those and 
make them do what I wanted them to do and through the years and it's been um, really good to have that and I, I do still occasionally go back to oil paints and watercolors um, just depending on the subject um, especially oils since they're they blend so easily and everything they're easy to use in that way and I do have some good oil paintings that I've um, really enjoyed having and, and doing but uh, for the most part it's acrylic um, acrylic paints and um, the subject matter that I, you know, most excite me, excites me is probably nature and light. Um, the light usually catches my eye first, and I also dabble in photography, and so I take tons of photos and um, use those later as reference photos. And but there's an interesting uh, aspect to that that I just like to note is that I may start out with a photo or a group of photos with one painting that I'm using. You know, I use the yes. reference photo for, right. you know, a creek and another one for the rocks or whatever. But eventually, the photos are left laying somewhere and forgotten, and I'm just, I have found myself painting intuitively oh, wow. where I've just forgotten the photos completely and yes. just moved on to, Excellent. you know, it's some kind of magic that happens. I don't know. Exactly. <laughs> I, I hope it happens anyway. I pray every time I start a painting that I can find that magic. But um, I do start out with photos, but eventually those just uh, don't even mean anything anymore where I'm just uh, getting to paint. So the right the way I want side to. of the brain takes over. Something happens there. Yeah, yeah definitely. And, I get in the zone. <laughs> and we, we, you know, we, as an artist, we try to capture light, especially in landscaping. Well, any still lifes, uh, we have to capture the light at certain angles. Mm -hmm. And Cheryl's um, she has a handle on light, so mm -hmm. look forward to some of those paintings uh, that we'll be uh, putting up uh, on the um, during our interview. And uh, also, uh, we have a couple venues that uh, Cheryl is taking uh, part in. Um, do you have any projects now in process or at a, at a venue for showing and viewing <coughs> that you'd like to share? Well, I do have. Um First of all, I have 22 paintings on display in Poplar Bluff, Missouri, which is where I'm from. Oh, I see. Uh, so it's kind of nice to be able to go back and where you know it all started and, and yes. have an actual exhibition there. And mm -hmm. it's at the uh, First United Methodist Church there in Poplar Bluff. And then I'll also have some artwork at the Mid-Missouri Art News Show at the Runge Conservation Center that's coming up uh, May through June. Mm -hmm. And I also have... Um, my website has quite a bit of art on it, not everything that I've ever done because uh, we probably don't want to go back that far, but <laughs> definitely at www.cschweitzer.com is my okay. website. Oh, super. Great. Well, you, uh, let's go to another um, area. Uh, she, uh, Cheryl has a lot of years invested in the Jefferson City Art Club, and I was inspired when I joined by Cheryl and her uh, friendship, companionship, um, her artistic ways of uh, making you feel welcome. So, uh, Cheryl, <laughs> you're now the, uh, at one time you served as president, but mm -hmm. now you're serving as vice president of Jefferson City Art Club. And uh, can you share along, uh, kind of give us an idea how long you've been a member? Uh, I think I joined in 2002. We moved here in 2001. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to jump right in right away because I had been active in the community where I lived previously and I wanted to just start right away as soon as I could. and find the art community and get involved as much as I could. And um, so I was able to do that. And actually, um, Lainey Strange was the art, art club president at the time. And Lainey I Strange. somehow okay. met up with her. Or I called her. I saw it in the newspaper or something. And she told me about the Jefferson City Art Club and then the um, adult art exhibit that was about to happen. And I could enter that show if I wanted to. Yeah. And so I started there. So that's uh, Lainey Strange was the... Mm -hmm. uh, person that inspired you. Yes, and, yes she uh, did. She was my contact, my first contact mm -hmm. actually in Jefferson City and um, I'm actually the second vice president this year in the Jefferson City Art Club and I um, plan all of the, plan and coordinate all of the uh, presentations, the presenters throughout the year at our art club meetings. So. Mm -hmm. Well you're also the webmaster mm -hmm. for the Jefferson City Art Club website and uh, controller of the featured artist uh, workup they're mm -hmm. on. So uh, when you go to Jefferson City Art Club uh, website, uh, you'll see some of Cheryl's work uh, as far as uh, website uh, creations and stuff. Do you want to give that website? Uh, um, sure, it's www.jeffersoncityartclub-missouri.com. All right, great. Now, on there you have the feature artist program. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about mm -hmm. that? Sure. Um, the artists have six weeks to show their images of, art, of their artwork on the website. 
and they also get the opportunity to show their art and hang their art at the um, DMV in Jefferson City on, um, I believe that's 1617 South Ridge Drive. Yes. So if you ever get a chance to go in there, I mean, almost everyone in town has to go in there for some reason <laughs> or other. Um, there's usually some of our artwork and our artists hanging in there, Definitely. so you can view that. Mm -hmm. um, and they also get to become a scheduled guest here on the JCTV Mid-Missouri Art News. Super. Well, your artwork is so realistic and unique as presented on your website and recently featured as uh, uh, on the website as a feature artist. We all seem to turn out pieces of work that become our favorites. Can you describe some of your favorites? Um, well, hopefully you'll see some of these on yes. the show, um, mm -hmm. and I don't know which ones exactly they'll show, but um, a few of my favorite ones are I painted the Burr Oak um, tree at McBain that's over 300 years oh, old. Yes. And uh -huh. That was one of my favorite paintings. I've been there several times um, at different times of the day, and there's usually people around it, but I didn't include the people in it. But it's one of my favorite paintings because I really pushed the boundaries of, of color and light in that. Um, when I was there, I just saw something else that was not right there you know i wanted it to be warm and really vibrate oh, with color yes. and so i i hope that i achieved that on that one oh, yeah. um, another one of my favorite ones is memories of a golden place that was um, taken from photographs from dogwood canyon in oh, yeah. um, southwest missouri just south of branson uh -huh. i've been there a few times and um, that painting was one of those where i tried to capture the light and i just felt like it was a really spiritual place and just I really loved it there and uh, that's probably what I consider to be my best painting so far ever, and I will not part with it, so. <laughs> oh, so wow. Uh, I, I know that your paintings are awesome. Thank well, you. Well, can you share with the viewers um, any sponsored events uh, currently of the Jefferson City Art Club? Sure. We have, um, right now, we have the Adult Fine Art Exhibit is running at the Capital Arts Gallery on Missouri Boulevard, and it goes from April 6th to May 6th. The reception is on April 27th during the um, Art Around Town Gallery Crawl. And probably um, Leanne will talk about that too. Yes, um, the 70th Annual High School Sketch Day will be there in May, May 3rd through the 7th. Right. And then later this year we'll have the Jefferson City Art Club um, Invitational Professional Show there in the fall. I don't have the exact date for that yet, but you could check the website, either capitalarts.org or the Jefferson City Art Club website. And we'll celebrate with the fling November. Yes, the fling is November, um, I believe. Ninth? Ninth, I think, around Friday. that time. Mm -hmm. And that's at the um, Hawthorne Community Center on Amazonas, uh, right. usually from seven to nine or so, where the public's welcome to attend and come in and enjoy. Yes. Um, you know, appetizers and drinks and view art and see the artists and, and, and maybe meet some artists. entertainment. Yes, some and entertainment that's free. Usually. That's mm -hmm. free. Yes, that is a free event, and mm -hmm. um, anyone's welcome to come to that. So super. Well, and, and you have a 134 pieces now in the adult fine arts mm -hmm. exhibit uh, at Capital, Ar uh, mm -hmm. Capital Arts on Missouri Boulevard, and we speak of the Ruth Hogan. Um, uh, and I hope some of you did uh, get to view that. That was 211 pieces. Mm -hmm. So it's been a pleasure to sit with you and, f and really share the moment mm -hmm. and uh, give you a chance to share uh, with our viewers. And we are having many now. So I want to thank you on behalf of Jefferson City Art Club and JCTV, Mid-Missouri Art News. Thank you for sharing uh, with us here on the Mid-Missouri Art News Can show. I just say one more thing about oh, sure, the yes. Capital Arts Gallery? Um, we have several of our shows there during the year, so I feel like we've really worked on a great relationship with Capital Arts Gallery, yes. and uh -huh. we work hand in hand and collaborate with, you know, our our shows with their schedule and and vice versa. So it's been a really great relationship that's uh, built up, and we're really great, grateful to have the Capital Arts Gallery in town to be able to utilize yes. that because well, it's sometimes really hard to find good venues yes. for that's our shows. That's a beautiful venue. Yes, it and is. And that's well said. I, um, I I jump on the wagon there and uh, also commend them. Mm -hmm. I've always been so impressed by that. The first time I showed there in 2009, I just couldn't believe it. So. Yeah. Again, thank you, Cheryl, mm -hmm. for thank being you. my guest. It's been great. And, Appreciate uh, it. Thank, uh, look forward to seeing you in the community, art community. Thank you. Thank you. Well, after the break, we meet Miss um, Leanne Porello, uh, who will surely uh, take a look deeper into her commitment to the art world and the arts here in the Jefferson City, uh, Missouri area. We'll be right back. Stay with us.
Coming home can be hard if you're a veteran of Iraq or Afghanistan. You may feel like you're all alone, but you're not alone. At IAVA.org, your fellow vets are all around you. Join our free online community, get the resources you need, and connect to other vets who know where you're coming from. IAVA.org, we've got your back. Welcome back, everyone. Uh, I'm Rick Che, your host here on Mid-Missouri Art News. And uh, if you will, join me uh, in meeting artist Leanne Porello of California, Missouri, who plays a big part on, in the art scene in the capital of Missouri, um, capital of Missouri, Jefferson City, Missouri area, at uh, a venue called Capital Arts. So welcome, Miss Perello. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. Well, I've been looking forward to this yeah, for a too. long time. <laughs> Thank you. Well, Leanne, if I may call you by mm -hmm. your first name, uh, 15 minutes is really not a, lo <laughs> a lot to cover everything that we could talk about. Mm -hmm. So maybe in the future, we can invite you back yeah, and talk I'd more about uh, your artwork and also what's happening mm -hmm. uh, at Capital Arts. Um, if you would, please tell us a little bit about you and, and those highlights of your life that best describe Leanne Perel. I know you've got a great husband that's uh, mm -hmm. supportive. And uh, so tell us a little bit about Leanne, if you yeah, can. Yeah, I would love to. I'm born and raised in Colorado Springs. I grew up there my whole life. Um, oh my. Went to school in the same district from kindergarten to high school and into college. Um, I attended Pikes Peak Community College and got my Associates of Art degree. So I've always uh, really kind of had a niche for art, um, but started with literary arts. So it was more writing and I had a love for that. Oh, I see. Um, my mm -hmm. whole family is in Colorado, so I was, you know, very family oriented spent a lot of time with them um, just had a really great upbringing in beautiful state and I loved it there and that's where I met my husband uh, he was in the army I and see. he was just getting out and uh, so we met at Fort Carson and Colorado has a big place in my heart um, oh. I moved uh, I've been here five years in Jefferson City I live in California Missouri but work in Jefferson City so Colorado will always have a big place in my heart and that's kind of where a lot of my inspiration as an artist started uh, just kind of getting in and writing and doing paintings regarding Colorado themes and things out there. I so. see. Well, you mm -hmm. do an excellent job Thank and you. you mean so much to this city, yes. not only uh, to the arts mm -hmm. organizations, but also the city of yes. um, Jefferson mm -hmm. City. Mm -hmm. Well, you spoke of inspiration. Mm -hmm. Can you go back to remember the first, basically what was the, the m most uh, impressive uh, inspiration that you did receive to get interested. Yeah, in you know, and like I said, I always started with literary arts. And so yes. I was a writer, um, I wrote poems and short stories, and one of my poems in the uh, sophomore year of high school got published. So that was kind of a really fun, you know, exciting time to be there. Um, and it just gave a lot of validation that what I love to do, other people love to read. And so, um, you know, I always wrote. And then I, typical graduated high school, I was an 18 year old, had my first apartment. Um, and it was kind of a funny story. I uh, you know, being 18 on my own for the first time. I didn't have cable, I didn't have internet, I was oh. poor, living <clears throat> paycheck to paycheck. And so I kind of decided, well, what do I do with my free time when I don't have all these electronics around me? So I ended up going out and buying an acrylic paint set. Oh, um, and that was really, you know, at first it was just something to, you know, kill time with. And then after I got my acrylic paint set, uh, my friends just loved what I was producing and just, you know, encouraged me to keep going. And um, ever since then, I actually kind of set the right aside and just started painting and so that was really an inspiration of the support I got from my family and friends because I just did it as a hobby and they requested and commissioned pieces from me and I said well I, I could do this and so uh, that's kind of what started it so it was my friends and family that inspired me to keep it going. Excellent so. <laughs> well now we um, learned earlier from Miss Weitzer that mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> 
in the adult fine arts exhibit. Oh. You're also represented in that. Yes. And I understand you're, uh, you're the, was, um, uh, you was awarded for your yes. art. I was very excited. Um, um, actually, I was I entered the amateur position. I, it's with oil paintings and acrylic because uh, I went from acrylic painting and learned how to oil paint when I moved to Jefferson City and never done it before. Um, so I entered the adult fine artist exhibition and my acrylic in the uh, amateur side won first place. And then mm -hmm. I had a penguin oil painting that won first place in the amateur oils as well as I won my first best of show. So it was it's been a really exciting week for me yes. and it was just really rewarding. I was I have watched Lynn in the last five years of Capital Arts mm -hmm. and and I so I was really excited to see that she finally her artwork was recognized by a, a reputable judge. Yes, so very. I'm really I was excited <laughs> for you, you. And, and I want to pass that on to Thank you too. So. <laughs> yeah it was a very exciting time like you said you know mm -hmm. we always hope to you know ribbon and place and but it was beyond expectation that I would get best of show and um, I was surprised but you know I, mm -hmm. I was very honored because mm -hmm. it's the highest honor in the amateur and next yes. year I'll be moving to the professional category so be, I'm excited. Right there with some of the others. My <laughs> teacher especially. <laughs> Janice Bergen is my teacher oh. that taught me to oil paint when I moved to Jefferson City oh, and super. so now that I'll be moving to professional um, we'll be in the same category so I'm excited to still continue to learn and grow from her but then compete. So right. well, some of your artwork is going to be uh, presented mm -hmm. here within the program as we're speaking and I always like to ask some of your favorites. So we yeah. all have a favorite so you may have a new favorite so what's, I do. <laughs> what's your new favorite. Well, definitely one of my favorites is the one that just uh, won the best of show. His name is called Playful Penguin, oh. and it's an oil painting of a realistic penguin that's playing with bubbles. Um, I really paint really whimsical and playful paintings. Sometimes I play with different colors, more like pop art. Um, so that penguin is definitely one of my favorites. Um, I also did a one a couple years ago called Imagine a Dream. It's a keyhole, a whimsical keyhole with a ballerina yes. in oh, it, like and that. that was one of my favorites as well. So, Mine too. Um, yeah, like I said, the color, I just love whimsy. So I, um, I love, I learned how to paint realism and the techniques. Um, once I learned the techniques, I took it and applied my own style to it. Excellent. And you, uh, you've you come a long way. <laughs> What's that old Bogart's, uh, you come a long way, baby, or something like that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. And we also share, we don't want to get on the dog topics, but mm -hmm. uh, Leah and I both share the love yes. of our dogs. So that, <laughs> yes. it kind of shows, you know, in her art also. Yeah, I very much so. And maybe her. some dog hair in there, yes, too. Yes, <laughs> some dog hair, yes. Well, I look forward to being, uh, you being part of the Mid-Missouri uh, Art News and uh, Runge Nature Conser yes. Conservation uh, exhibit that I put together mm -hmm. in hand with the Run Center, uh, May uh, and through June of 2018. It should be quite an interesting event for uh, viewing. Do you have yes. any comments on that? I'm very excited. Um, you know, I've been doing, working on some pieces for it, and Excellent. you know, I really love the theme. I just really am excited to highlight Missouri conservation, mm -hmm. um, and so I'm just really honored. This is my first time being a part of a show like this, especially Ooh. being displayed at the Runge Center, and since I am so passionate about nature and animals, mm -hmm. it was just a perfect fit. So. And the, the theme is called To Nature's Art, mm -hmm. uh, and we've got artists from all around the states, different venues, from glass blowing to sculpture to oils to um, scarf, uh, scarf painting, uh, quilt art. Uh, so you've got to come to Run Center in May and June and take a peek. Uh, also we have um, the uh, Meet and Greet the Artists on May 19th between 10 and 2. So you can see the art and actually meet uh, Leanne. Hope you yep, I will are be available. There. Yep. I'm excited. I always love to mingle with the other artists as well as meet community members. Like I said, sometimes it, we like to share those stories to you know get the community sure. to have that personal connection with our paintings. Exactly. <laughs> well, now I'd like to ask you a little bit um, uh, about your position, the executive director of the Capital Arts Gallery of Jefferson, Missouri which is a building uh, uh, within the city um, yeah. government yeah. of Jefferson City, Missouri. Uh, before we run out of time, could you share with our viewers the mission statement, mm -hmm. what, basically what, um, what your job description yeah. is? And, and I know you went and looked for a site 
or for a new statue or something. Yeah, there. yeah, we're doing all kinds of things. So the mission of Capital Arts is to <coughs> encourage, promote, and support all the arts in this community. Um, and so we really embody literary arts, theater arts, and sculptures is a big one. We're doing a lot of public art. Uh, we're doing a Sculpture on the Move program where we actually rent a sculpture for two years. And after the two years, we can either swap it out um, or purchase it. So it's a really kind of fun way to introduce the community into public art and just get some feedback and see how it is. So we're excited. Um, um, and that sculpture is going to be uh, May 6th installed. So, and it's oh, at Riverside Park in Jefferson City. Super. Mm -hmm. Well, now we have the scoop. Yeah. <laughs> because I, she, I tried to reach her on the cell phone recently. <laughs> she says, well, I can't talk to you right now, Rick, but because I'm looking for a statue. Yeah. I said, oh, that will be interesting. <laughs> yeah, we, were, oh, we, great. Went, we went all over the city trying to find the perfect home for Jefferson it. Jefferson mm -hmm. City is so blessed by having you in Thank this you. position mm -hmm. and all the uh, art organizations, especially Jefferson mm -hmm. City Art Club. Who, Thank you. Mm -hmm. has always enjoyed using that um, beautiful facility Very. and venue. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, Ms. Perot, did you have anything else you'd like to share? You know, I'm just happy to be here. And like I said, you know, um, I, with my job being the executive director of Capital Arts, I'm here to support the artists in the community. And so my passion and inspiration comes from helping others and seeing what others produce. So I'm just honored to be a part of Capital Arts. And I look forward to the community seeing what else is to come. You know, more art in this community yes. is the goal. So we're excited to bring it. <laughs> and they can stay tuned, basically, mm -hmm. by visiting your website. My website, yep, and which is www.capitalarts.org. And like I said, we put all our schedules, all kinds of upcoming events, exhibitions, and things we're doing in the community. So it's the best place to get all the information. Yes, well, thank you. Well, uh, Leanne, on behalf of the Jefferson City Art mm -hmm. Club, um, JCTV Mid-Missouri Art News, which is attempting uh, to bring together all art lovers and, mm -hmm. and enthusiasts in Missouri and the surrounding states, through this program, I want to thank you so much for contributing today to Mid-Missouri Art News, making it a learning and informational experience for, for everyone. Thank you for having me. It's been a blast. I've always looked forward to, you know, talking with you and sharing as much as we can with the community. Yes, so. thank you so <laughs> thank much. Thank you. Well, now next uh, featured guest here on Mid-Missouri Art News are artist Suzanne Luther of the Four Quarters Art House in Columbia, Missouri. You may have heard about that. If you haven't, you should tune in at that, at that program. And also Lester Perkins uh, of Jefferson City, Missouri. That taping is scheduled for May 16th. And Lester, if you've ever been to Mel's Diner, in Jefferson City, Missouri, Lester is on display. Um, his paintings are on display there all the time. So he has some really great work. Lester is uh, getting up there in the years like some of us. So uh, it's really inspirational. He'll be here. He's really excited to be part of this program and also of the upcoming uh, 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 Culture Nature's Art there at the Run Center. Uh, so then uh, also a spotlight on the arts. When we spotlight someone, I'll mention again that um, uh, Austin Lambert, the naturalist at the Runge, he'll be with us on Spotlight on the Arts, telling you what does happen at the Runge and all his dedicated naturalists and volunteers and their programs. Uh, so he'll be sharing with us what's happening really at the Runge uh, Conservation Nature Center in Jefferson City. So I want to thank JCTV producer Gloria and Lowe and director, uh, assistant, and um, really a good handyman when it comes to editing these programs, coming up with some great ideas. Uh, that's Mr. Art Gerhard here at JCTV. And so I want to look for more Missouri Art News, Mid-Missouri Art News, right here on JCTV. And don't forget YouTube. I'll see you next time. Thanks for staying with us.